Five cases of Lassa fever have been confirmed in two local governments of Owo and Akoko southwest of Ondo State. Two cases were reported in Akoko southwest, while one was recorded at Achievers University involving a female student. The three cases are all in our local government area. It is a resurgence of the disease which made a comeback last December, spreading through Ogun, Ondo and Edo in the west, as well as Taraba, Plateau and Nasarawa states in the north. With us in the studio to discuss this further is medical doctor Tuyi Mibawondu. Thank you for your time on TVC News. My pleasure always. Yes. Uh, mm. Why the resurgence of Lassa fever this time around? Is there something the country is doing wrongly? Uh, obviously, you know, because um, let's look at it. Last year, we had as uh, many cases, as much as 284 cases of uh, Lassa fever all around the country. And we recorded 154 deaths. Out of that 154 deaths, uh, cases, we have... Uh, uh, 12 health workers, including two doctors, and uh, actually four of them died. So we've seen um, repeatedly failure of uh, proper programming, failure to be able to prognosticate and look at it and say that, listen, what we're doing now that we know that this, that's how you can, re can come back, that uh, Ebola can come back, other diseases can come back, hemorrhagic fevers can come back, and then for us to put in place appropriate measures to ensure that this thing does not come back. And what, what does this measure entail? Basically, what we are seeing there is, is failure in keeping hygiene at that level. That is basically what Lassa fever is. We have a rat that, that harbors the virus, you know, and then we have human that are involved in farm activities and get con contact with those uh, droppings of the, of, of, the, of the rats. And then we also have human that can also transmit the virus from one person to another. And we have the laboratory people that can actually delay in diagnosis because what are we looking at? We are just having just two centers in Nigeria that can actually comprehensively diagnose Lassa fever. That is terrible. That is for a population of um, close to 200 million that are mainly agrarian. And we're just having, and we know that this is endemic in this country. The rats are always there. They, we spread our food on, by the roadsides, you know, to dry them in the, in the, during the farming season. And then we're constantly in contact with this rat. And then we're not putting pressure, uh, measures up to, uh, to inform the people, one. Two, to, to, to assure that you know, we are the case of these rats. And three, to put up a diagnostic mechanism. In fact, the, the drug has been used for that, for, for treating the early stage of, of, of Lazar fever, is virtually you know, non available in the country. It, it's, it's sad that even to the extent that even when even those drugs are supplied by donors, with the drug find its way into some, somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You can even see from the previous report you were given that we cannot even provide for basic immunization. We can't, we, we don't think it becomes a priority to budget for immunization. So in essence now, uh, there is the fear that Lassa fever, fever could spread across the country and I then if it does, uh, the people are not even ready to handle it. The health sector might not be able to handle it. Well, That's what you're saying? Tell me, what is the health sector ready to handle in Nigeria presently? Mm -hmm. What are we ready to handle? Okay, because first of all, there are no human resources. There are no funds to actually, you know, to handle these things. The emergency operation centers created by National Center for Disease Control in Nigeria, National Center for Disease Control, are not functioning. The kids are not just there. The kids that you're going to use to help are not there. So again, I, have, I keep repeating. We have to take health education as local as possible. I won't call it health education, health literacy to the basic mm. minimum level, okay? Not just local government, to the family, to the family level. If you know, if we know that honestly, the, 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 our family is involved in agrarian activities and we come in contact with this thing, we must be assured, we, are, we must be aware of the risk that we have been exposed to at that level of family level. Because as we are now, you know, the government is not budgeting appropriately for us, as you can even hear in the, in the immunization mm -hmm. thing. Secondly, they, are not, they, they don't even tend to think of what they can do for you. Um, even if you're looking at the, uh, the National Health Insurance Scheme, you saw one um, aid to, to a, 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 a rep member dying because they couldn't really mobilize funds to treat. So it, it, it's a disaster. You know, if we say call state of emergency is under, understatement, now we're looking for funds to, to flow from other places. Those people are, are tired of you because they put the money there. You, if for instance, the nets that you, you give to people in Nigeria not to be sold, people are buying it in Kotonu. Mm -hmm. So this, and then, you know, the food you send to people in the southeast is being sold in the open market. The date you send that is okay, come and use for to break your fat. It's everywhere in the open market. How, how, how often do we need to be, you know, apologizing for stupidity? Mm -hmm. I don't just know. So again, 
what has happened, what I will just counsel everybody is simply this. The Lassa River is with us. It's endemic. As long as you are in this filthy environment, you know, as well as you see all this um, um, uh, dust, uh, dust bins and waste mounting up everywhere, including Lagos, know that you are at risk of Lassa River. Mm. And the best thing is actually, you know, clear your waist, clean your compound, you know, pr protect yourself and ensure that, you know, when you have fever, when you have an adult, insist that doctors should at least do a test to confirm whether you have malaria or typhoid. Mm. Insist, if they're not going to do it, let them do the test. Once those ones are negative, you must be looking at other possibilities. Well, there are still and the fears of wrong diagnostics. Yes, that is, that's the key. So it, it has, the doctor must be able to, you know, again, step up there. How many doctors, how many laboratories do we really have? Mm. So we need to take health prevention to the least level, which is household, family level, and observe basic hygiene uh, uh, processes that could pre prevent us from diseases. Because at the end of the day, there's nobody there for you. All right, quickly before we wrap uh, this up, uh, how long uh, can Lassa fever stay in the system of the victim before Again, you do, we, we, we talk about the incubation period of 2 to you know, 20 days, depending, or even to 2 to 12 days, depending on how violent the, the organism is, and again, of how your immune system. Okay, because quite a lot of them may not even manifest. But those ones that will manifest, within, within 7 days, they start manifesting. And how do they manifest? The common symptoms, headache, feeling tired, weak, and all those things, and fever. Okay, when you move away from that stage, the person starts running nose and you see signs of respiratory tract infection, including, you know, um, cough, you know, difficulty in breathing, and then the thing that cannot enter the, 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 the blood system, where you can see somebody bleeding from every part, nose, mm -hmm. eyes, mouth, you know, similar to so many other diseases, mm -hmm. the, 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 the blood pressure will go down, the kidney will malfunction, urine will, um, protein will be coming out from the urine, the person can have meningitis or meningitis symptoms before you know the person uh, 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 is dead. And the danger, actually, the effective, effective period, the danger actually is that period when you think that person is having malaria fever and is not having malaria fever. So the, the, the universal precaution thing should always be carried out at the health service center, mm -hmm. even at home. Somebody is sick, you, and then, it's you know, he's bleeding somewhere, you know, it's, it's put his put to mouth, you are touching the thing anyhow, it's wrong, mm. I'm pretty wrong. All right, mm. be safe. Thank you very much for your uh, analysis and, of course, your medical advice to people out there as uh, Lassa FIFA, fever uh, ravages uh, some states now, especially Ondo. Thank you, Dr. Tui Meba Ondo.